working class families who bought those homes gained over the next few generations two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in equity, in wealth from the appreciation and the value of their homes. African Americans who were prohibited from buying those homes and had to rent apartments either in uh, public housing or, or in the private market in urban areas gained none of that wealth. The result is that today, nationwide, on average, African American incomes are about 60%, 60% of white incomes, but African American wealth is about 10% of white wealth. And that enormous disparity is entirely attributable to the unconstitutional federal housing policy that was practiced in the mid-20th century and that we're obligated to remedy. The white families who gained that wealth used it to send their children to college, they used it to weather medical emergencies or bouts of unemployment, and they bequeathed it to their children to buy their own homes.